there was this particular person that commented to me asking me about arguments. Okay. And pretty much what this person said, what is so wrong with arguments? As in, why are they bad? That made me think, is this person serious? How can you believe that there is nothing wrong with arguments? And that makes me remember this particular person. This person said that arguments pump them up as in they get excited. Arguing pumps their blood, figuratively speaking. That is demonic. If you get excited or really interested in arguing with people, that is a demon, demons. You should not get interested in arguing with anyone. That should not make you excited. If it is something that you love to engage in, that points out an issue, a problem, a demonic problem within you. It is not normal. Arguments. So let me read this comment that I sent to that person. What is so wrong with arguments? You might as well say, what is so wrong with killing people? <laughs> Having a discussion and arguing are not the same things. Having a discussion is civil, expressing ideas. Arguments are much different. Arguments build tension, confusion, displeasure, and other qualities that are not of God. Many of the time, people begin to raise their voice in arguments. Arguments doesn't solve any issue. It just makes issues larger. Never argue. Arguments will begin, will bring strife. These qualities are not of God. Think about this. If you go to heaven, will God allow you to argue there? Think about that. Truly think about that. Will God truly allow you to argue with people in heaven? So imagine <laughs> yourself arguing with angels. <laughs> Will God allow you to do something like that? The answer is no. <laughs> Never argue with anyone. Nothing good comes out from arguing. It is not normal for a person to consistently argue. It is demonic. Arguing doesn't build unity. It builds division. Truly contemplate on that. Just because arguing is common in this world doesn't make it right. Stay far away from arguments, whether you are wrong or right. If you see an argument brewing, back down and close your mouth. Discussions are different. 
you can come to someone in peace and discuss what issues you have with a person. When you see that person get offended and begins to become somewhat hostile toward you, you should close your mouth and or walk away. Never go toe to toe with anyone. Pride. When someone raises their voice against you, don't raise your voice against them. I made that mistake a couple of days ago or so. I didn't argue with that person. I just raised my voice a little bit higher than what was actually needed. I have repented of that. You need to repent for your arguments as well. So don't argue. It is pointless. And when I did raise my voice, nothing got solved. <laughs> nothing. It was a waste of time. I saw that when I raised my voice, I saw that what was going on between me and that person, I saw that nothing was going to get solved. Like, this is a pointless conversation. So, I stopped talking. I did not say anything else. And that person, I guess he got irritated and hung up. And I did not argue with that person. I just raised my voice a bit higher than what I should. This person wanted to speak about something that I did not want to speak about. And I continued to say the same thing to him. And then he continued asking me the same question. And I said to him the same thing. And then I raised my voice a little bit higher, which I should have not done. I should have hung up. But when he continued asking the same things, I just stopped talking. And then after about 10 seconds of not saying anything, then he hung up. Don't argue with anyone. Don't even raise your voice. And if you do argue, and if you do raise your voice when you should not, just repent of it and stay far away from it. There is nothing wrong with repenting. I know some people are very prideful and they hate to be proved wrong. If I am wrong, show me where I am wrong so I can get back on the right track. I don't want to believe myself to be right and then when I die, I go straight to hell. I would be like, why didn't you tell me that I was wrong? I'd rather be proved wrong and change my ways other than believe that I am right and have this pride of being right all the time than when I die, go straight to hell. No, tell me when I am wrong. Some people hate to be corrected. To be told that they are doing wrong. Not me. We can't see ourselves all the time. We don't know everything that we are doing wrong. So that is when, when other people tell you that you may be doing something wrong. Ask them more questions about it to see where you are doing wrong. And if you are wrong, change it. Be humble. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.